I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Димон, Артем, стой у said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. I left the order, uh, well, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for our job, job or no job, they keep doing that. Not in this world, well, not everyone that. can stand like a broken doctor. Had the guys not made it in time, why not you be able to not cut us alive at the moment? Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a sneak, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see Pardon you're me, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, Alyosha, how you are the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Where are back, Artyom? Uh, uh, Previat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. 
Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official! Yeah. I knew it! <laughs> so I brought something! And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> ah, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat... with a kitchen... and a shower. Let's go, it turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful! At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? Did you hear that? Again! Now the whole area knows we're here. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. They didn't notice us. 
That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Not the order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. You people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Let's go. 
killed standing guard in a place like this. Attention! The turntable is switching on! Accept this shit again, okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? A mutant? A watchman? A human? How did you? Oh. oh my god. It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her? All right. I'll help. Finally. I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance, too many guards, but we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Oh 
are you hurt? Hunter's badge? It stopped the bullet! Take this, bitch! Guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then go to the I'll get you out of here. Stay on, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had. Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Artyom, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. Yes. 
nothing here. Watchmen just have a nice meal and we don't have to worry. <laughs> you say so. Still, this is suspicious. You do your thing and I'll just stay here, just in case. Hey! Right spot.
Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the Tiam. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. We don't have all day. Oh look! Oh look! Who the hang it? I see him! We've a man down! Get the still in the fucking track! Do it! Do it! together. So this is true? 
You are working for them? The bastards shot our children! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no, down. Shit, the watchers won't let No, I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead! All of them, women, children! I'll tell you all later, everything. Gramps, what's going on out there, down this road? The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course, we have to make haste though, they got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this not my this call, and you know misunderstanding. Well, I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. Alright, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone! The whole fucking world! And not even batting an eye! Ah! If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill! Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said to me! Yeah. 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 Stop the engine immediately! Oh fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, sir, stop uh, it. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Ah, finally some good sense. Now, keep breaking your stop. Well, the grenades will barely scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he started to call and he better do something about it. Leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract you in the meantime. Plastic is yes, that you, Yako? Yes, so cut this shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiet down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You don't understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What do you cut it, man? Defense plan? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement without life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason! We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! 
And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. <laughs> <laughs> 